Welcome to Van's Kitchen. In today's video, we are going to see how to prepare a little spicy and a little tangy curry with potato and chickpeas. It's also called as korambu. First, let's look at the ingredients. Two medium sized potatoes, boiled, peeled and cut into bite sized pieces. When we add boiled potatoes, it gives little thickness to the curry. One and a half cup cooked chickpeas along with the water used for pressure cooking it. This water will add extra taste to the curry, so if possible use it. One tablespoon chilli powder, one and a half tablespoon coriander powder, salt for taste, half teaspoon turmeric powder, around two tablespoons desiccated coconut. We are going to blend all this together with little water and make a masala. Two tablespoons thin tamarind water, quarter cup oil, one large tomato chop, quarter teaspoon fenugreek seeds, half teaspoon mustard seeds, handful curry leaves, eight big garlic cloves finely chopped, two medium sized onion chopped thinly. Some fresh coriander leaves. Transfer chilli powder, coriander powder, turmeric powder, salt and coconut to a blender. Add required amount of water and blend it into a paste like this. After blending, add quarter cup water to make it into a thin paste. In medium heat, add quarter cup oil to a pan. And when it's warm, add mustard seeds, fenugreek seeds, curry leaves and garlic. Keep sorting until garlic turns slightly brown and then add onion. Keep sorting until onion turns golden brown. The more oil you add to prepare this, the more yummier the curry will be. So you can adjust the amount of oil as per your taste. Once onion is well cooked, add tomatoes. Keep mixing until tomato turns very soft and mushy. Now you can add boiled potatoes to it. Mix well and let potatoes cook in this for a minute. After a minute, add chickpeas without water. Mix everything well together and let chickpeas and potato cook for a while. After a couple of minutes, you can add the water from cooked chickpeas and also the blended masala. Water from cooked chickpeas and water from the masala all together will be around 3 cups. If required, add some more water to bring it to a thin consistency. Mix well, check for salt. If required, you can also add some salt at this stage. Now add some chopped coriander leaves. Mix again and let it boil for a while. As the mixture boils, it will become a little thicker. Let it boil until the quantity of water reduces to 3 fourths of its original level. And also it will get little thicker. Once the quantity reduces and it becomes thick, you can add tamarind water to it. Mix everything well together again and let it boil for another few minutes. After few minutes, tangy and spicy chickpeas and potato curry will be ready like this. Transfer it to a serving bowl, add some coriander leaves on top, it will enhance the taste. You can serve it with plain rice and some appalam or puppets. Try this very simple and easy and tangy curry with chickpeas and potato. I'm sure you guys will love it. If you guys like my recipes, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.